As you may know, if you're a regular viewer, because I have been teasing this one since all the way back in the daiquiri episode, this is one of my all-time favorite rum drinks when I'm looking for something really citrusy and bright. The Royal Bermuda Yacht Club is another of Trader Vic's specials. We've also done a video on his Mai Tai. It showcases his talent for really restrained tiki drinks, so you've got all of the flavor and half of the ingredients. The sweetness is coming from falernum, which is a spice lime and almond syrup, and orange curacao. And so it's some more tropical flavors which really lift up the rum. Again, it just shows how switching out one or two ingredients can really transform a cocktail. So first we wanna squeeze some fresh lime juice and get your garnish ready. Just try and make it as thin as you can because you want it to float on top of the cocktail. In the bar, we actually usually use dehydrated limes uh, for this, which is also a good option if you're making quite a lot of them. Um, or yeah, just don't want to have to worry about always having fresh limes on hand. Obviously, the easiest way to do that is in a dehydrator. Just slice them as thin as you can um, and then pop them in on a low heat overnight, like the lowest heat possible. And then you can squeeze the rest of it. So we'll start off with 50 mils of rum. The original recipe actually calls for an aged rum. Apparently Trader Vic preferred El Dorado five-year-old. Um, I've only ever had it with, uh, with white rums, but I mean, I think it would just be a nice kind of richer cocktail, the same way that a daiquiri is still delicious with an aged rum. Gonna take it even a little bit further and go for a rum agricole. Um, so this is a French style of white rum. It's made from sugarcane juice rather than molasses. So it just makes it quite a lot kind of brighter and fresher and has quite a kind of grassy and herbaceous edge to it. And I think it works really well with the falernum. Then we have 20 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. 15 mils of falernum. I'm going with a local hero. So the commissary just make a really lovely, fresh and subtle falernum. You can make it yourself. Again, it's, it's quite a lot of effort. Depends how often you make tiki drinks, but if like me, you only make them once every now and again, you might be better to just invest in a good quality one. Taylor's Velvet Falernum or Monin are probably best of the kind of more widely available bunch. And about five mils or a bar spoon of Marinette Curacao important you use a really dry style of triple sec or curacao pierre ferrand would be the obvious substitution as well so you'll notice that the um the sweet and the sour components here do add up to about the same but again marionette's fairly dry um, and the falernum as much as it's sweet it packs a lot of other flavors in there uh, so it definitely comes out nicely balanced um, even though there is not kind of more sour than sweet which is your general rule of thumb Pack your shaker tin with as much ice as you can fit in there. Pop your tins together. Just make sure it's a nice straight line so that it's not gonna explode in your face and then shake as hard as you can. Grab your glass out of the fridge or freezer. Then you're just gonna use the Hawthorne strainer to hold the ice back in the tin and strain through the fine strainer. Again, this is one which is really citrusy and refreshing. So if you wanna leave those little chips of ice in there, then you absolutely can. Um, I just prefer it without. Then we're just gonna pop the lime wheel on. So get it on your knife and just nudge it off as gently as you can. And it should float. So at Bomba, we do normally use a dehydrated lime wheel to garnish this and that floats like perfection. The fresh one was misbehaving a little bit and it was making Josh cranky. So we've popped it on the edge here the Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. So now you know. But let's give it a taste. So good. I think I just love um, sort of cinnamon and clove. And obviously that's quite easy to work into uh, sort of more stirred down cocktails um, usually, but this one is still so bright and fresh. 
uh, and that, yeah, the rum agricole there just has a really lovely kind of really savory, quite grassy. Um, it's just an interesting flavor, really. If anyone, if you haven't tried one before, I would really recommend it. Um, it's really cool and it will just give you a bit of a, a bit of a different take on most of your rum cocktails that you've ever tried before. Yeah, because you have all of that spice coming in from the falernum and then obviously just that little bit of orange. It's just, it's a, it's a really good little, little tasty triangle.